Hello, my friends. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this lovely animated GIF of a cloud. I normally teach Procreate to elementary students, and I know that anybody can do this project. Pixel art really is a stress-free way to get creative on Procreate. You don't need any special brushes. We're actually going to make our own brush. And you're going to be able to export your own GIF that you can send to that special someone. And it's really easy to customize the message. So this one is my favorite. But you could also write, you're so darn cute, it makes me sick. So drawing pixel art is super fun, but it is going to take a couple of steps to get our canvas and our brushes set up. Setup is a one-time thing and you never have to do it again. So if you prefer to skip the steps of setting up your canvas, you can download it using this QR code or using the link below. These resources are free. You definitely don't need to download the pixel art canvas, but it does include this checkerboard pattern that makes lining up your pixels so much easier. And I really think this is going to be a useful resource going forward with all your pixel art projects. To scan the QR code, you're going to open your camera and follow the link that pops up until you see something that looks like this. Now it's really important that we save this properly, so please don't screenshot. Hold down on the little picture here, and in your menu, you're going to either choose Save to Photos or Save to Images. You can load your pixel art canvas by going to Photos. Okay, so if you've downloaded the canvas using the QR code, you can actually skip these steps where we're going to create a custom canvas from scratch. You can create a custom canvas by looking for this black little box with a teeny plus sign. And all we have to do here is put in 100 by 100. And you don't have to worry about any of these other numbers. To create your own pixel art brush, let's go to calligraphy and we're going to use our monoline as the default brush. Now you never want to mess up the original brush. So let's swipe left and duplicate the brush. To go to the brush studio, you're going to tap on the brush. And the first thing we're going to change is under stroke path on the left. You're going to turn spacing down to none. Now we're going to jump into properties and using minimum size, you're going to turn that one all the way to the left. We're also going to do this for maximum size. If you'd like to name your brush, you can go to about this brush and look for the original name of the brush. And then done to finalize our changes. Now you're going to pick out a color for your outlines. This can be any dark color. We also want to make sure we're working on a new layer. So go to the layers menu here and tap on the plus sign. The first thing we're going to do is draw a line. So find the middle of your screen. And if you hold your pen down, you can actually get a perfect line like this. And it makes this so much easier. The exact number of pixels don't really matter. Just try and get the proportions about the same as mine. So while you're drawing, you may have some pixels to clean up. So let's set our eraser to the pixel brush. Remember, you can find that under calligraphy. This is the base of our cloud, and now we're ready to draw the top. I'm going to do this by drawing circles. If you hold your pen down, Procreate will also give you a circle shape. It's also handy to tap on edit at the top of your page, and you get these little circles you can use to modify your shape. As we get to the top, we're going to make the circle slightly larger. Great, so now we have a lot of cleanup work to do. So let's go to the eraser and we're going to erase these lines in the middle. So once you're happy with your cloud, you can move on to coloring. So pick a nice color for your cloud. I'm going to be working with a pastel cyan. To fill your cloud in, you can take this little circle and drag it into the shape. You may need to clean up some pixels around the edges. And if your color goes everywhere, don't worry. We can always color our cloud in by hand. Great, so we're now ready for some shading. So what you're gonna do is pick a darker color. I like purples for this, 
but a gray would work as well. And now you're going to lower your opacity to 50%. And we want to think of the cloud as like a 3D object. So we're going to shade the bottom here. Great, so now we're ready to add a face. I'm gonna find the middle of my cloud and do three little pixels for my eyes. And then two little pixels offset on each side. Now we're gonna draw a line for the mouth and add a little T on either end. Once you're happy with your cloud, we have to prep our project for animation. If you downloaded the pixel art canvas, now would be a good time to delete it. You can swipe left to do this. Now we're gonna to wanna to set up some framing pixels in the corner. This is gonna allow us to make our project bigger in size. If we skip this step, our project is gonna look blurry like this when we share it. So use a bright color like magenta and place one pixel in the corner. And you're actually gonna do this on all four sides. Now we're ready for the moment you've been waiting for. Let's start the animation process. Animation Assist can be found under Canvas and you just want to toggle it on. Before we get going, we have to assign the background, which is our cloud. So you're going to find the frame here at the bottom and tap on it. Here you'll find background and you can toggle it on. So in Procreate, each layer is a frame. So let's go to layers and create a new layer. On this layer, we're gonna build the rainbow. So of course, we're gonna start with red. I'm going with pastel, and I'm gonna do two little squares here. Then I'm gonna move around my rainbow and start adding my colors. If you don't have enough space, just try and limit how many colors you're adding. So I'm only using six. Before we move on, we have to deal with those pixels in the corner. So pick another bright color. I'm using cyan this time, and I'm replacing each pixel. Luckily, this is the last time we need to worry about adding these pixels. With our first frame done, we're gonna go to layers and make a copy of our rainbow. We wanna move this rainbow down. So let's go to the arrow tool here. Now for pixel art, it's really important that we change a certain setting. So find this little circle at the bottom and tap on it. And make sure your setting is nearest neighbor. Otherwise, once you move things, it may become blurry. The other setting we're gonna change is freeform. So with pixel art, you don't wanna drag things around to move them. Instead, you're gonna tap in the direction that you want them to go. So I've moved my rainbow down and now I'm gonna extend it back up to the mouth and make sure this line here touches the mouth. It's gonna look a little bit weird, but once you tap on your brush, it should look nice and clean. Great, we're gonna keep repeating these steps. So let's do the next one together. Go to your layers and make a copy of your top layer. Then just like before, we're gonna to go to the arrow and tap twice to move our rainbow down. From here, we're gonna extend the rainbow back up to the mouth. So if you feel like you've got this, you can just go for it until your rainbow meets the bottom of the page. So if you make a mistake, remember that you can tap in the opposite direction or use the reset button to put it back in its original place. So once your rainbow has made its way down to the bottom of the page, you may wanna check your layers. Each picture should be slightly different. If it's not, it might be a sign that you missed extending your rainbow up to the top for one of the frames. Great, now we're ready to test out our animation. Definitely my favorite part. So here you can find the play button and you can watch the magic unfold. This might be a little bit intense. So let's go to settings and turn down the speed of our animation. I'm using seven frames per second. Ah, that's better. Great, so now we're ready to create our custom message. For this, we're gonna need a new layer. And just like the background, the message really isn't part of the animation. So find your last frame here, and you're gonna set this one to foreground. You can easily make up your letters, but you can also take a screenshot of this template 
And this will definitely help you create your letters. Remember that your message is on its own layer, so you can tap to move it around and center it better. You can also go to the S tool, which I also like to call the lasso tool. And if you set it to freehand, you can lasso around a word and then use the arrow tool to move it around. And I realize I lied. We do have to put those pixels in the corner one last time for our message. We're ready to export our artwork now. And this is where those pixel frames are gonna come in really handy. To start, we're going to go to the pref setting on our wrench, and we're gonna change our iPad to the light interface. You're also going to go to layers and turn off your background color using the checkbox. To resize, we're gonna to go to the canvas menu and use crop and resize. Under settings, you're gonna change both values to 600. Now starting on the top layer, you're going to go to your arrow tool and use fit to canvas. Initially it will look blurry, but the moment you go to the next layer down, it's gonna straighten itself out. And this is why we needed those pixels in the corner. Otherwise fit to canvas, wouldn't know where the edge of our canvas is. Now that we're done with those pixels in the corner, we actually want to erase them. It's nice to pick out a slightly larger brush for this. And I have to do this for each layer and I can't really see what I'm doing. So I just have to brush the corner and trust that those pixels have been removed. And you'll know if you did a good job when you get to the last layer you should see the pixel disappear completely. To export, we're going to go to the share menu in the wrench and we're looking for animated GIF or is it GIF? I can never <laughs> tell the difference. So make sure alpha threshold is turned down to zero. And this is your last chance to adjust the speed of your animation. You can lock this in by going to export and you're gonna use the save image option. Your artwork should have been exported to your Photos app and should look something like this. Right on, so thanks for hanging out with me and making pixel art. I hope you like the cloud animation that you made. I just wanted to remind you to follow me if you want more tutorials just like this. And if you're proud of what you've made today, follow the link below to share it on my social media. See you next time, bye.